Hi everyone, have you ever looked at any of the projects that are free in Scan and Cut Canvas online and thought, I'd love to cut that, but it's too big to fit on the card I want to use? Well, if you have, hopefully in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can rectify that situation. So, the project I'm going to use, I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to use the Love Story Lampshade. And the reason I'm using that is because by the time you see this video, I will probably have already cut this because it was a request for me to do in a YouTube Live. So I'm going to click on the project and you'll see here, there's a PDF that says get the recipe, which is basically information about how to um, put it together and what you'll need. There's also a video and you'll see along the bottom the respective mats that make up the elements for making this project. Now when there's arrows it means there are more so you've got panel A, B, C and then if I use this arrow you'll see this D, E, F and G. So there are several parts that make this project. If I just select mat A for now. It's brought it onto my screen mat. Now if I click on it you'll see that the size for this element is 11.42 inches by 8.43 inches. So if you are in the US and you use 8.5 by 11 this project wouldn't fit on a piece of A4 card. UK A4 card is a slightly different size. Our card is 11.75 high, so slightly taller than US, but it's only 8 and 1 8 wide, so it's narrower than US. So again, this wouldn't fit on a piece of A4 card. So basically, you'd have to cut at least this panel and I'll just go back to Canvas Workspace and find the project again. So A and B are going to be the same size. So you wouldn't be able to cut those from A4. You'd need 12 by 12 to cut those. I'll open panel C and select it. Now this one is 11.42 by 5.51. Again, you'd not get this out of 8.5 by 11 US card because you wouldn't have enough space probably to cut it in your height. But in the UK, we would be able to cut this panel from our A4 card. I hope that's not too confusing. But to have to mess around and cut part of the design in 12 by 12 and part of the design in A4 is a bit of a faff. So I'm going to show you how you can resize the whole project and make it all fit on A4 card, no matter what size UK or US your A4 card is. So I'm going to go back to the Canvas workspace and find the project again. Okay, so I'm going to select it. Now the easiest way to do this is on the right hand side here you'll see download all parts and that means that all the elements, all the mats that make up this design are all together in a folder rather than having to bring each one of these onto a scan and cut mat separately. So if you download the folder, mine is just going to drop straight into my downloads folder because that's where mine go on a Mac and here is the folder. Now on a Mac when they download they automatically unzip. If you use Windows you will need to find your downloads folder and then I believe you would use extract all and if you don't know how to do that if you go to YouTube and put in the search box how to unzip a file on Windows, I'm sure there'll be lots of videos to help you. So I'm just going to close this down. I'm going to double click to open this folder. 
and you can see there's a picture of the project and then here are all the mats A, B, C, D, E, F and G. So I'm just going to close that down now and leave that there. Now the next thing I'm going to do is make a new folder just so I don't get confused. So to make a new folder on a Mac and I think it's the same on Windows you would right click on your mouse on an empty space of your desktop and you should see this new folder. I'm going to just call this Love Story Lamp Video. Okay, and I'm going to leave it there. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to come to the Canvas Projects tab and click on New Project. And this is going to bring me an empty mat. Now, the cutting files inside this folder are all scan and cut proprietary files, which are FCM. But Canvas is a little bit confusing in that it names its import files SVG, although when you hover over it, it does say import SVG, DXF or FCM file. So this is the icon that you need to use. It will bring up this box that says choose the file. So I'm going to select that and I'm going to navigate to my desktop and I'm going to find the file that I downloaded, which is here, 000280. This is the Canvas project I downloaded. I'm going to double click to select that file and there are all the elements of my file. Now I can't bring all these files on to my Scan and Cut Canvas mat together. It has to be done one at a time. So I'm going to choose A and then come down here and click choose. It'll, it will tell me I'm bringing in file A from that folder and I'm going to say OK. And there is my A panel. With that still on the screen, I'm going to go back to the SVG, go to choose file and go to B and choose and say OK. So there now is the panel B. And I'm going to keep working my way along and do that for each element of this file. Okay, so now I've got all the elements on the mat that make up this lampshade design. So the first thing I'm going to do is drag an imaginary box around everything. I'm going to go to edit, align and center on the horizontal. And then I'm going to go back to edit, align and center on the vertical. That should have been the opposite way around, by the way. That's vertical, that's horizontal. So everything is centered together. While it's all centered together, I'm going to right click and make it a group. Because to resize more than one object at the same time in Canvas Workspace, you have to have your items grouped. And I want to resize it so the width comes down to under 8 inches. And by doing that, I know it will fit on my UK A4 card. And that in turn will bring the height down slightly, which means it will fit on the US A4 card. So I'm going to drag a corner in and bring it down until it's about 7.89. So that now will fit on both types of A4 card. So I'm going to right click and ungroup and I'm just going to drag the panels apart. I want to find the front panel. So this is panel A. So I'm going to select everything else and this is going to seem drastic but stick with me and I'm going to delete, hit the delete on the keyboard. I'm going to bring this panel in back onto the mat and then over here where it says project title I'm going to type A and I'm going to hit download. 
and it's going to ask me where do I want to download it and I want to download it to my PC because I want to drag it into this file that I've made here. So I'm going to do that and again it, I'm going to close this and it instantly drops into my downloads folder and I can drag it out and it's here. So I'm going to put it in this folder. Now I'm going to come back to the canvas page. I'm not hitting save under any circumstances. What I am going to do is hit undo. And that's going to bring all the elements back on my page. So I now know I've saved this already so I can hit delete. I'm going to bring in the next panel and this is going to be panel B. So I'm going to select everything again and hit delete on my keyboard. I'm going to put this panel on my mat and then up here I'm going to change where I typed A and make it B and hit download. Again it's going to ask me where and I'm going to say to my computer and I'm going to close that box. I'm going to go to my downloads folder and there is panel B. So I'm going to drag it into this folder. I'm going to come back to my canvas mat and I'm going to hit the undo button. I'm going to get rid of the panel that I've just downloaded and I'm now going to delete that. So next, I'm going to bring on the next panel I want to save. Now I think panel C is the one with the clock. So I'm going to select all the other designs and hit delete on my keyboard. And then this one, I'm going to call up here panel C. So I'm going to type C. I'm not hitting save. Whatever you do, don't hit save because everything you've deleted will be lost and you'll have to start all over again. I'm just going to hit download to the computer, wait for it to download, and there is panel C. And I'm going to drop that in the folder. So I'm going to close this window, and then I'm going to come to the undo icon and undo until all the other bits come back on the mat. So, so far now I've got A, B and C. This was C. I'm going to select it and delete it. I think D is this next thin panel. So again, I'm going to delete these. And with this one on my mat, I'm going to change its name up here to D and hit download to my computer. And pop it into the folder. Close the window and hit undo until the remaining bits appear. So I can get rid of this because I've saved it. This was D. I think the top is E. So I'm going to call this E. I'm going to select these two and delete them. And I'm going to download E. And then I'm going to come back to undo and bring the next two panels in. So now I can delete this. I want to save this. I could probably save these on the same mat maybe. No, it's a bit tight. But I don't want to. I want them on separate mats as they were in the folder that I originally downloaded. So I don't know which order these are in. I can't remember. So I'm going to delete this one. And I'm going to call this one F and hit download and close the window, drag the folder into my file, hit undo, get rid of this that I've just downloaded and I'm on the last one, this will be G. Going to oh, call it G and download it to my computer. Close that window and drag it in there.
So now when I open the folder that I made on my computer, I called it Love Story Lamp Video, there are all the elements A, B, C, D, E, F, G, all resized. What I can do if I want to is open the original folder, select the lamp, JPEG, right click, hit copy, close that file, and in this file that I've recreated, right click and hit paste, and that will post the picture. And what I can also do, if I want to do, I would actually call this Love Story Lamp Resized. I've just called it video because I'm making a video. So now I've got the original folder with the original size lampshade in it, which I can either rename or delete altogether because I know it's still in Canvas workspace in the projects here, so I don't need to keep it really. Or I can just save it, you know, with its original name, Love Story Lamp. But I'm going to get rid of it because I don't want it. So this is now the Love Story Lamp resized so that when I come to make this project, I will be able to call up each one of these mats on my machine and cut them all from individual pieces of A4 card or A4 vellum. So that's how to resize a multi-file folder from within Canvas Workspace. So I hope that was helpful. Please give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.